Later he appeared to the eleven as they sat at the table, and he rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart. Why say Tigubo? And he said to them, Hambani near Ezrini Lonke, Nishumaye Livangeli, Kukokon Koktali Way. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. O Koloya Papatiswa, we are Kusin Diswa. Kepa Onga Koloyo, we are Kulashwa. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. But he who does not believe will be condemned. Lesi zibonagali so ziagubalande la bakolwa yo nge kamalam ba ya kuki pamatemon ba shumaele nge zlimezija. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons and will speak with new tongues. Ba pati zinyoga. They will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Naloko inko si uchesu i isi kulumi le kubo ya kushule le zuluini ya shala ngakwe sugune nesgababa. So then after the Lord had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. Kepa bo na bapu mabashuma ele zindawe ni zonke. And they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word through the accompanying signs. Namsanjege usugu eskumbula ngalo ugwenyuga wenkosi yetezulwini. So today we want to look at the ascension of our Lord into heaven. It was 40 days after his resurrection. And and after the Lord's resurrection, he from time to time appeared to his disciples. He'd appear to them and then leave again. It wasn't like before where he was with them all the time. He would just appear and then leave them again. Uguti washangana na bafundi bake echales bonagali sagubone bona izin tugezi ngamashuma mani. So over 40 days he appeared to them um, frequently. Ngokwe nyuga kwake. Simfika evaleli sagubafundi bake. But now here with the ascension, we find him here bidding his disciples farewell. He had now finished his work that the Father had sent him to do here on earth. And he had 
And he was now to return to heaven, to that glory um, that he had before he came to earth. And now he was to return to heaven to sit, at the, to sit at the right hand of the Father. But um, that morning, the disciples had said, let us go to the Mount of Olives. So they had prepared some food, some patkos for that journey there. By a corner, and And then they made their way to the Mount of Olives. At Gethsemane. That is where the <coughs> Lord had suffered so much. No one had, has ever gone through such pain and troubled. And, and, and he was so troubled like no one ever before as the Lord had gone through there in Gethsemane. Good to our humble and above back. He went with his disciples. That was Washia about eight. Wahamba Nabatat. Mobu Tuta Subing a seke se nigele negus. Remember how he had gone on that day when he went to pray and he left the eight at a certain point and continued with, with just three of them um, going further with them. Remember at that time Judas had already left them. But on this specific day, all 11 were there. There on the Mount of Olives. Right near Gethsemane, where the Lord had gone through so much pain. So the Lord Jesus through his so the Lord ascended from that place where he had gone through so much agony. And remember how he had taken those three and asked them to uh, stay there for a short while, Peter, James, and John. And but he then left them at a certain spot and he went a stone's throw away from there and that is where he prayed. He left them with the instruction that they should pray that they fall not into temptation. Why say Ali? Who to a wow a pan see? I would to a go country. Jumbo was go car. 
wawanje ngomuntu wayo wawa phansi mpho ngobuso bakhe mhlabathini and as he he continued um, to go and pray alone he got to that place and there he fell down he didn't kneel down like someone who kneels down to pray he fell down to pray in greek it's literally to fall ujesu wawa phansi so ukuzawe angazi ukuthi bekuse kuyikho yini ukuphelelwa amandla ngoba usezothandaza athi baba uma kungenzeka asidlule lesi sijakimi he literally fell um i don't know whether it was because he was so weak already because of all that he had gone through and was going through and remember how he had prayed he said oh father if it's your will take this cup away from me ngoba nasi sija azosphuza isija sezono zonke zomhlaba nezono zakho ubezophuza zona ayimukele abe isono ngenxa yakho Remember this cup was the cup of sin. Your sin, my sin, our sin, the sin of the whole world that he had to drink. Wathi baba uma kungenzeka. Asidlule kimi lesisija. And he said, "Oh father, if your if it's your will, take this cup away from me." kodwa kungabi intando yami akube intando yakho but lord not my father not my will but your will be done he prayed kodwa istress ukuhlupheka bekukhulu kakhulu but the stress that agony was terrible akakho muntu ayikhingelozi Futhi naso esikhathini esizayo ngeke kube khona umuntu ohlupheka njengokuhlupheka kwakhe ujesu And no angel no human being has ever or will ever go through such agony as he had to go through Kuthuwa wazabalaza wakhala kuNkulunkulu wajuluka wabamanzi and it was a terrible battle that he had to go through he he sweated kodwa bekungesisi isithukuthuku nje kuthwa isithukuthuku sakhe saphenduka saba njengamaconsa egazi aconsela phansi mhlabathi and he didn't just sweat in an ordinary way it said that his sweat drops were like drops of blood falling to the ground ngoba thina uma umuntu ejuluka simbona la ebunzini ejuluka emanzi kodwa kujesu bekwehli igazi nje ingazi normally when a person sweats it's perspiration it's just water that runs down your face but with him it was blood that was running down dripping down i don't know what he what clothes he had on god wa is to go to go sack ngoba na to must juluka kakhulu ngisho mina ngesinye isikhathi ngisuka la ngiphume ingubo yami imanzi nte ukujuluka depending on how warmly you dressed you you also sweat i i even i experience it even here after i've preached i often go out and then i am uh, wet with perspiration kusho ukuthi leyo ngubo yakha ayikhokile ibigcwe ligasi ngoba isithuthuku isithuthuku sakhe ubejuluka igasi elconsela phansi mhlabathini but what is eljile jile but whatever he was wearing on that day 
must have been filled with blood as well as, uh, as a result of his sweating. After he had fallen down there, he got up. And he went up and down because of the agony that he was in. He got to his disciples. He found them fast asleep. Because they were also exhausted and they were also going through this agony. And the Lord challenged them. He said, could you not watch with me just this one hour? And so, it, just like those disciples, so we also were asleep. We didn't go through that agony which the Lord had to go through. And he said, could you not watch with me just this one hour? And then he went back to that spot again where he fell down again and prayed. And thereafter he got up again and went back to his disciples. He, he needed them. He needed their He needed their support, but we gave him no support. He suffered alone. He came back again. And the second, then the third time. Every time found them asleep. Why say the Bugan manjes? And then the third time he said to them, well, get up, for the enemy is close at hand. And then Jesus had to suffer terribly because of our sin. But then we deny our sin, deny having done it, or we justify it, or we just take it lightly. And then the Mount of Olives, Gethsemane was the place where Jesus went through the worst agony imaginable, where it was like hell itself. He tasted hell. Because of our sin. But we take sin lightly. And we just do it again. And then we cover up our sin. And then we justify 
the sin we've done. No mumuntu e ornas kom by go ye. Kotazi kom bigiti na uguti gui sono se tu. Sibe no gui sola, no kala, no tabuga. And then we blame others and point out their wrong and their sin and don't point out our own. There's no regret and remorse for our own sin. And so the disciples were there on that mountain, that place where Jesus had suffered so much. And we don't know how long they were there for, but it must have been quite some time because when he found them there, he came to them, they were busy eating. We don't know what they were eating. But they were there on the Mount of Olives. And as you probably know, when they ate, they didn't um, sit at a table like we do, but they lay and leaned on their elbow while they were eating. And then the Lord appeared to them. And this was now the last time he would appear to them before his ascension. And you can imagine what that is like. It's like when you say goodbye to your child for the last time. It was in that same place where the Lord Jesus had been humbled, humiliated, and where he had been in such terrible agony like no one ever before. But the amazing thing is that the Lord Jesus ascended from that place where he had gone through the worst suffering and agony. His greatest humiliation. Re he returned to that place of his greatest suffering. And he had almost died in that place, um, that agony and that suffering that he had gone through. And he had said that his soul was troubled unto death, so he was at death's door, even then already. The place of his greatest suffering, we see him in his greatest victory. Simbona, lape bechu peka kona kangaka. Se simbona, lape ngobe kona. Engoba nukngoba. 